Welcome back to Franchise Hockey Manager 10 with the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're just about the end of January here, and we are currently in first in the East. And, um, I mean, it's been a difficult ride, and it looks like our team is a little bit worse for wear. So we'll look at uh, our roster first, and then we'll take a look at where we are in the standings. But uh, Rantanen is what's kind of holding this together. Uh, 67 points in 47 games. He has around 40 assists, and he is currently one of the top players in terms of goals. Uh, Newhook in second with 53, and then Boldy with uh, 51 in 57. McTavish with uh, around 48, and Gensel with 46. Uh, Korczynski is now developing into a pretty decent player, uh, three and a half star. And then you have Crosby there with 38. So a little bit less than what he normally does. He does have 10 goals and 28 assists. Uh, Carlson there uh, with 37 and 47, and then Ty Smith with around 35 and 46. So he's kind of developing as well, uh, but it looks like he's going to stay at around a three star for this this whole time. Um, and then you have Spence there, who, I mean, can only improve just a little bit. Uh, he's around 31 points, but all the way down here you have Malkin with 13 points in 47 games. So he's not doing too well. He's already talked about retirement. Um, so he's probably not going to be with us uh, next season, but uh, that is the unfortunate uh, reality of everything. He's also graded around a 59 as well, so that's not going to help us uh, long term for that. So he's probably just going to crawl his way to uh, to the postseason, hopefully, and uh, I, I'm assuming he's going to retire after that. And same thing with Latang. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're missing both these players next season, and then Crosby just stays with us just for the one more season. I thought he was 40 though, but he is only 39. He goes, he turns 40 at the beginning of next season. Uh, but as you can see, his stats are not even close to what it normally is. Um, even his defensive rating is kind of taking a hit. Um, his uh, speed as well. Um, so I think that's uh, largely due to how well he's doing in terms of uh, his play though. But if you look at it, um, it's probably going to be his worst season um, ever, I would assume, uh, other than maybe his... Uh, Nope, that's probably going to be his worst one ever because I think those ones were due to injury. Um, but he's still going to end up probably around the... Um, he might even get uh, not 2,000, but maybe 1,900, which would be uh, one of the top ones in the league ever. So we'll take a look at the history there. He could potentially pass Marc Messier in top three points. So that would mean that two former... Um, Pittsburgh Penguins would be in the top three, which would be pretty cool. So that's only if he ends up playing with us uh, next season, uh, which I do hope that he still does, because even if he ends up playing on, on the second line, he's still probably better than what uh, what we could ever hope for for anyone else. Um, but in terms of, uh, let's look at goalies as well. So I think that's the area that we kind of need to focus on. Blomquist is, is severely outperforming Yari. They are pretty much on a split now, so we might want to put Blomquist in more often than not. He is around a 914 save percentage, whereas Yari is an abysmal 888. That's probably the worst <laughs> worst that I've ever seen. Um, he has around 368 uh, goals against average, while Blomquist has around 2.98. So if there's any chance that we can kind of part ways with Yari, we might do that um, in this episode, because there's probably a goalie out there that uh, could at least lead us to the promised land here. Um, but as you look in the NHL, in the... Um, in our division, we are eight points clear. We have one last game, but uh, again, there's not much difference between um, the wild card spots there. Um, we did have a decent gap before, but we did kind of go on a little bit of a losing streak uh, recently. And then in terms of uh, the whole league, though, we are in second uh, only to Edmonton Oilers because Edmonton Oilers are just insane. Uh, the only thing that's really saving us is our goals for, which is leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else. But our goals against is what's dragging us down because 164 is one of the highest, I would say, in terms of any team that's uh, contending. And even in the league, if we could, uh, it's too, unfortunately, you can't click on the goals against to kind of see that. Um, but just looking at it, we're at 164. The bottom of the league is around 174, 181, around that kind of area. So we are definitely bottom of the league in terms of defense and uh letting in goals but it looks like our goalie is the only thing that's not uh, recognized in our league so let's take a quick look and see if there's any goalies that are actually on the trade block I kind of doubt it but if we can part ways with him 
even if we can part ways with both, I would say that that's probably the ideal thing. But I don't see any goalies on here. And we might be forced to kind of hunt. So let's take a look at, uh, let's look at the positional rec rankings here. And then try and get one of the top goalies if we can. If we can afford them, we will. Uh, Ottinger, Hart. Hart might be a good one. How much does he he get paid? He's on three years, 7.6. We can kind of roll the dice and, I mean, go all in this season and try and get him. But I feel as though that could be uh, very dangerous. Saros also 31. Everyone, all the goalies are, are getting pretty old here. Levi is a, is a decent prospect there. But I guess Carter Hart's probably your best option, actually. He is... He isn't doing very well, so let's see if we can make an offer um, and trade Yari. He'll never accept it. Okay, we're gonna no matter what we're gonna get them to hold some of the, his uh, his money to kind of make it even for us. Um, let's give a third round pick. They'll never accept that. Let's give him more. Let's give him another third round pick. They'll never accept that either. I understand they're rivals, and that's that could be why, but I feel as though that's not going to be what it is. They want one of they want one of our top players uh, for this guy, so that's definitely not going to happen. I guess the only thing we can really offer is more picks. Let's see, maybe a first rounder next year. Um, let's see, take away a third and give another first. Yeah, so this is the closest that they would go to it. And then even then, it would be two first, a second, and something else. So yeah, they're definitely not going to go for that. Um, Roster-wise, let's go. Let's see if we can do another team that might have it. What, uh, what does Anaheim have? They just have Gibson, who's on a one-year deal. Is he actually has bad... He hasn't been playing this season, so definitely not going to go for him. Um, I don't know if only we could... Actually, let's kind of go in terms of rosters. So Blackwood, no. We're not going to go San Jose. Gustafson, no. I mean, Hoffer, we could. St. Louis, so we'll have to remember St. Louis is one of them. Um... We can't get Vasilevsky. Samsonov, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, no, we can't get any of these. So St. Louis is the only prospect right now. And they have Skinner too. Jeez, this team is... They're not actually as doing as well, though, that I would think. So Win St. Louis and Winnipeg are the only two that I see. Um, Levi, no. Wolf could. I kind of doubt they'll go for it, though. Let's see. He just got the mental. He doesn't have anything else, though. Let's see. Let's see. We'll never accept this. Okay, so at least at least we're at the same same position where we were before. We can probably give up a third. It's hardly likely, so they're they're inching their way closer. So maybe another third. And now they've at least come down, so they they want at least another prospect. But since we grab those guys in the third, they should probably accept that. It's hardly likely they'll accept this as well. And let's see, let's see if we if we can do something wild here. Ah, Russ won't want to waive his thing for that. Duclair might be the only other option. How well is he doing this season? He's not doing as good as what he did before, so we'll give up Duclair. I mean, it's close. Maybe take away a third round pick? Huh. Take away a third, maybe give something a little bit more fresh. Maybe a second. That won't do it either, so it's probably going to be a first. 
and they might do it, but I kind of doubt it. Every time that they're around that uh, that area, they won't do it. But we can remember that uh, for later. I just saw a bunch of 50s in terms of grades, so that doesn't look good. We do win 6-3, though. Um, Hudson, Jager, um, Gensel, Eklund, and Rantanen, and then Korczynski. I don't see Crosby anywhere. So he's not even getting first billing or second billing in terms of assists. But uh, yeah, Rantanen's definitely carrying this team. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I definitely need uh, need Crosby to kind of step it up a little bit. Kevin Wall. Really, that seems like an odd trade. We're probably going to head our way into the, the All-Star break anyways. But we're still in first. I mean, 48, 48 games in, still in first, but uh, I mean, a little bit better than what we were doing before. But I think it's a lot of the home games definitely factored in that. So no way, but it's close to all right, which means that they're far and away from it. So I don't want to retain salary. But we can probably switch a third for a second. I will do that. Let's just go next year's. Which, I mean, they're still probably going to say no to. But yeah, we still have to follow the rules regardless if Malkin um, is on the team anyways. So it's as long as Crosby's on the team that uh, we have to still trade away our picks. Because otherwise it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Malkin's not the uh, focal point of this save. And, uh, yeah, Crosby's more so the, the focus of this. And, uh, yeah, Rust Rust has kind of fallen off as well. So we might even have to buy him out next season, at the beginning of next season. He's around five, 5 million. It's definitely 5 million we can't afford. And we've tried to trade him, but uh, no one wants him. So it makes it a little bit difficult uh, for all that. But... Um, yeah, he's not he's not an integral part. He's been like a healthy scratch uh pretty frequently. Um oh yeah, he is he's on the injured list though. He is he has only had three goals this season or three points this season. No, uh, yeah, he's had two. He's had two goals this season and that's it. Grade of fifty five. He ended up going down to a two star too, and then he randomly went back up to a to a three star or two and a half, I think. Surprisingly, Leafs are actually at the top. I wouldn't mind facing them uh, in this save, but there's a huge difference between our division and their division. Geez, points-wise, it's pretty uh, it's pretty split. Whereas um, the West is just there. Wow, the Central looks pretty pathetic, actually. 58. They're kind of where we were last year, or at least our division was last year. But Colorado holding the top spot there. Predators. All the way at the bottom. That hurts to see. Um, but uh, Kraken. Kraken also fallen off too. But uh, like I said, I don't see Vegas ever being one of those teams. Um, Ranton ended up getting a point. Carlson still played on it. He's now done to a four star. So he, I think he only has one year left on his. I think we managed to renegotiate it. Malkin's, yeah, Malkin's the only one that we didn't. Oh, Carlson we didn't either. He's not interested still. What is he? Nah, whatever. We, I guess we can't. We probably won't be able to maintain him. So we'll, we'll leave it towards the end of the season and see if he still wants to. But we're definitely going to lose a defenseman next year. So the rebuild is going to be pretty interesting for next year for sure. And 5-1. We managed to at least win that one. Spence, Rantanen, Crosby getting two. That is what I like to see. And then Spence getting the, the last goal of the game. But yeah, I really like seeing Crosby score because he's still he's still hunting for the for the franchise leader uh, in terms of in terms of goals actually. Uh, Mary Lemieux currently owns it, and uh, I mean he's around. Yeah, if he can get 30 uh, this season, he should probably be able to get it. 25 I guess but it's gonna be very difficult it's gonna it's gonna be so hard to to get him to be at that point 
We end up winning 6-2 here. Latang, McTavish, Aremba. McTavish again and Rantanen and then Gensel before conceding at the at the very end as well. But uh, while surprisingly not as dominant as what they've been in the past, they're almost around a 500 team. So that's, uh, that's a bit shocking, but uh, we've definitely cleaned it up. We are playing more games at home, which is definitely a boost than what we were doing at the beginning of the season. I think, um, where is it? Yeah, at home we're 25-1. and one. Away we're 16-7-1, and a lot of those were at the beginning of the season. So, And we're on an 11-game winning streak. Hold on. Did I just see that right? I didn't even notice that. We're on an 11-game winning streak. That is insane. Especially at this point. But it's going to be Rangers. Rangers are definitely going to be the one that beat us on this one. No, we went 3-1, so it's 12 games now. Crosby getting a goal there as well. Uh, Spence and Korchinski's. So that's exactly what I like to see. Now we're 10 points clear of the Devils. And we still have one game at hand. And uh, Rangers are fighting for a, for a wild card spot there. 12 games in a row. That is, that is unheard of. We face Arizona too, which is at the bottom. But I already know this is one of those games that we're probably going to lose because of it. And I don't like the fact that I did put in the trade, as you guys remember, uh, with Calgary, but they still haven't responded back. And I'm probably never going to see that. So it's one of those things where something like that I'd forget about. So it's kind of annoying that uh, that I, I oh, we lose 7-4. I knew that we were going to lose against them too. Damn it. Um, Eklund, Pearden, uh, Gensel, and Jagger getting uh getting the goals there that's disappointing we end up losing against the bottom team of the central 7-4 so it's not even like it was close it's like we got whooped we got whooped granted we were away from home and we are in the road now so i wouldn't be surprised if we end up dropping the next next two or at least next one so i guess we're gonna still go shopping for a goalie again since uh carol or calgary is still not responding to us Allmark, no, he's too expensive. He's not even starting all those games. Yeah, screw you with Wolf. That's that's extremely annoying. Bo Pitt, no. <laughs> they, they don't have any goalies. How are they at the top? They have two, two goalies. No one's injured. That's insane. Why why is Colorado so terrible? Ivanov and. Dicho. So Dicho's their... No, Ivanov's their starter. So Dicho, we end up trading them before. I won't even bother going for Ottinger. That just seems like cheating. Jeez, there's no goalies in this game. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of either one of those guys. Uh, Wallstead. I guess Swayman we can probably go for. Swayman is... Uh... Uh, let's go for Wallstead then. Uh, I guess we'll do that. I doubt they're going to go for it. We're going to try and give everything though. Of course, they'll never accept that. Let's go for. Let's go for a third. Another first. Let's go for a second as well. They're more of a contending team, so I don't think they're going to actually go for this. And then, um, space-wise, it shows they have a ton of space. So, will Rust do it? No, he doesn't. He wouldn't want to go there anyways. Um, what can we give up? So, a third, a first, and a second. And Yari. Or, oh, and uh, let's see if they want... One more. I Decent prospect, but maybe not. Might want to give up one of our backups as well. No. Um, feels like we're not going to be able to do anything with this one. Go cap. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? 
I don't see him anywhere. Let's uh, do Claire. There we go. Can't add more than five. Now that I finally found him. Give to clear. Uh, maybe don't give him. They don't want anything. Um, yeah, I kind of doubt that they would have. Give another first. They will never accept this either. So let's remove the third. Yeah, so they're definitely not going to do anything for it. What's their other goalie? Their other goalie is who? Swayman. Oh, won't let me do it. Okay, hold on. We'll do... Minnesota, we're swimming. They'll never accept it. Yeah, of course not. Um, not a three-year deal for that. They probably signed him too. Yeah, they're not. We're not going to be able to get a goalie. Hart. Yeah, they already have another one as well. We should have gone in a bit more on Demko. Demko signed for 775. That's that's robbery. He's not doing that well either. We'd probably be in a worse spot if we had him. Saros. We could get Saros, but he's under a four-year deal. So I don't. I'm. I'm very less likely to want to do that. So it doesn't look like we can trade. I guess we're not going to be able to trade for anything. Unless I. Uh, well, I guess we'll continuously check the uh, the trade block and see if there's anything that kind of jumps up throughout the next little while. But yeah, it is annoying that Calgary hasn't got back to us. But I mean, we're still at the top, so. What do you what do you really want? If they say they want to make a trade for a goalie, I swear to God. I'll just swap the goalies here. It's two one. So yeah, I called it. We lose back to back games away from home, and then we face uh, St. Louis here, who is currently in the top of their division so and then we go back home yeah it seems like a very odd road one since you end up already traveling to to two of their uh teams and then all of a sudden yeah you go back home to face the other one at least it's not the back-to-back -back thing that kind of pissed me off a little bit we'll take the we end up winning 4-2 though Gensel with a hat trick and then lock show interesting to see if Gensel's still four star, so I do like that. But he is 32. But like I said, he's still going to be with us uh, forever until he decides to retire, no matter what. Uh, regardless of what kind of rebuild it looks like. But I feel as though our, our rebuild's going to be a little bit unique as well. Makar's still on the trade block. Dubois as well. We've already kind of tried to look at a lot of these guys. But I need more of a right winger that can play now. Speedy Ford. Doesn't look that good. I don't like his defensing defensive rating. Moser, Johansson, Hyman, no. That's way too expensive. Denoyer, no, he's I tried trading for Frost, but I don't but they didn't uh, they didn't really budge on that. Uh, Matthew Robertson he's playing the ECHL, so he's clearly not that good. Teravinen's worth too much. We need around a three star. Who's this? Jake Sanderson. God, no, I'm not touching that contract. I know he's around eight million. Jeffries. Alex Jeffries. Edmonton? Huh. Do you know more about this guy, though? He's playing the ECHL, though. AHL. Jeffries is also in the AHL. Ah, uh, he's not that good, though. It kind of sucks. Looks like it looks like this trade deadline's not going to really uh, bear anything. I don't think. 
unless I see someone that's that's popping up there. But uh, I mean, it's be, been pretty difficult to make trades, even when I'm trying to offer out players. For other players, it's like I tried to trade. Actually, we'll do another thing. Let's see what what it's worth. Try and trade our first and our third. So our third next year. We'll try and trade our first. And any players. Let's see. Why does it say round eight? All right. Garbage. Absolute garbage. How that has to be fixed. There's there's no way any of these guys are worth a first. 2.0, 2.5. That's the closest one out of all of them, and he's not even playing the NHL. Yeah, that's so bad. Let's let's try two first actually. See what they do for that. I can guarantee you it's going to be terrible. Do next year and the year after. What the hell? Why does it say round eight? And then round 15. That doesn't make any sense. And again, yeah, nothing. For two first rounders, there's nothing. Yeah, that is annoying. I guess they don't register future first rounders as meaning anything. We ended up losing 5-4 in overtime. Oh, it's probably because Coach Delic was playing. He scored two, though, but he's not that good of a player. And then we end up losing Renton and Misses, and the Brinkett and Bobby Brink score. Now we face a doubleheader again. There's a decent amount of spaces between the other games, but against Arizona, and then we're... We face them at home, and then we go all... I don't get that. I don't know why you would play a doubleheader and then have to travel for the next one. It just doesn't seem realistic. I don't know if that happens in the NHL that much, and I'm just oblivious to it. But uh, like Pittsburgh is is somewhat close to to Ottawa, so I get it. But but it really doesn't make any sense. All right, that makes sense. No, there's no one. Petrangelo. How much does he get? You know what? Maybe we'll do that. We can probably play on our team. He is a right D though, so I don't know if we really need him that much. Can play left D or someone else can switch. Let's give up our third here because we're going to have to get rid of him at, at some point. And give up someone else. Um, I don't really know who. Maybe a prospect, actually. Give up our rights to someone that's never going to play. Very likely they'll accept it. Okay. I think we can afford it. Alright, so that works. Gave him up for a third. Now I just know what's going to happen is the player that we just traded is probably going to be better than what we say. No, nah, it doesn't look like he's going to play for us. And then let's see if he actually fits into our roster, though. Yeah, still under just a one-year deal. So let's see. Let's see if he ends up making it. But it is still decent to have him as a... Oh, he does fit, fit in the second one. But why is the Tang not playing? But Tang's now a two star. That's annoying. All right, let's see if that uh, changes anything. They're probably doing the same thing that they did with the Rust thing. Seven three. So yeah, him on our team does not help at all. We get smoked again. So I don't know why why we're getting smoked by the worst team in uh, the Central, or arguably the worst team. I'd say they're still the worst. I don't think Chicago's as bad. And then we face Ottawa now in the back-to-back. -back. And Ottawa's doing a lot better. So the fact that if we even end up winning one, 
That would be, uh, Longquist is going to start. If we win this one, then it's, then you just know that things are messed up. So we lose, I think we're on a four-game winning streak, or losing streak now. We are on a two-game. Okay, so we did win the one before. I forgot that. But as the trade deadline nears, it doesn't look like we're going to have, have anything, so that kind of sucks. But we are still in first. But it looks like we're going to have a hard time getting 50 wins. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get bumped out. Uh, let's see our prospects. Yeah, Silverston, one and a half. And then even Tranko. Tranko is a guy that we end up getting on free. I just really liked his team player. His determination looks like it's going up. He does have Gretzky off it, office. And he was mock draft as a hundredth pick. So I just ended up grabbing him when he was 18. Just to kind of see. So we're going to still ship him off uh, next season too if we can. But I think he's still 18. Or still be 19 at that point. Rumba looks like he's developing decently. But I don't know why they're capping him at uh, 3 stars. And... Yeah. Figure. Or Fibiger. And then yeah, Carlson and Petrangelo. Both... Uh, both just getting old. But yeah, it seems like a move that we would probably that uh that Pittsburgh would probably do. I mean we do need more of a stay at home defender than uh offensive one. Which I think is why they, they swapped him with uh Latang. But we'll probably play this game and then we'll we'll leave it as is. Finally clicks break up. That's one of the most annoying things about this game is the amount of drama that they intentionally add into it, and then that kind of stuff as well. So we'll take a look here. Then we'll go shopping right after. We end up losing 5-4. So the series is split between us, and Sidney Crosby gets his 15th. Uh, Malkin gets his 8th, so good for him. And then the Lock Show and Gensel also get goals as well. So we'll take a look again at the uh, trade trading block. Kind of doubt that it is. I feel as though we could give everything for Makar. Oh, Makar just signed a contract too. Nine million. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if we can offer him everything and see if they'll do it. We will give them first. First. Uh, we can only offer them two first. Uh-oh. And we will definitely have to give them Rust, though. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to go there. That's not frustrating at all. Um, Surin, they'll never accept. Jagger, they'll never accept. Puritan, okay, they'll never accept no matter what we trade them. So why is he on your trade block? That's the other question. Why would a guy like that be on your trade block? Hayton. What uh, it's his contract? Three yes, we want this guy. Yeah, I definitely want him. I will give you everything. Alright, what do they need? They need a right defense. So Spence. We'll never accept, okay. We get that, we understand that. They won't do another first. Okay, well, they would do two first, which we don't want to do. We'll do 2028 first, even though it's going to be a rebuilding thing, so we're going to have to find a way to get picks anyways. Um, we need those picks, though. Give up a second 2028. Yeah, I get that. Um, what else can we move? Russ won't go. Yeah, I didn't think so. And... Let's see, make this work. No, we're not going to give up them. Do have any rights? Don't know who you are. I'll never accept. Still want the same players, though. Don't really have any prospects to really give. Kind of want to take him out. Yeah, we definitely want to take him out. Why wouldn't they do it for him? They're always rebuilding. 
Um, no, Collins, no. O'Brien, maybe. Yeah, we'll give Gabriel O'Brien, and we'll add another pick, I guess. Jesus, there's no way you wouldn't do this. You, he's on the trade block. You should want to offload him. Oh my god, so annoying. I don't know anyone else that we can give up. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go by potential. Lockshow is the only one I can think of that we could possibly part ways with. Duclair. No. Right. Um. They want Jagger. There's no way we're gonna give up Jagger for him. Like he is really good. I do like him. He would be immediate fix to this team. He only plays left wing. We'd have to give up a left winger. Yeah, they're not even gonna budge on anything. Feels like this is it. There's no way. Tip it. Tip it. Yes. Power forward. Okay. Let's see if our rivals will be willing to. Uh... Rantanen or Korchinski. You gotta be kidding me. He's not even that good. We'll give up a first. Give up. How does he play? We need. We definitely need a right winger though, like a third liner. Th and this is a balanced one. Okay. Huh. So it's balanced. It's balanced, but then they want the. Screw this. All right, we'll give up another, we'll give up a third. I think they'll probably accept it, so no. Maybe we give up a fourth then. Fourth they'll accept, so... What the hell? Sixth? Why can't I add that much to payroll? Why can't we? Will Russ go there? How can't I? I can definitely add this much to payroll. Russ is out. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is so, so annoying. <laughs> I don't think the Gabriel Bryan, it's hardly likely that they accept this. Your offer's two week. Okay, let's well I guess we'll add another pick. Oh my god. Can we add another one? I think we can add another one. It's gonna take this is taking forever. It's hardly likely they'll accept this. It's only because the player, though. They probably won't, like, if they're willing to part ways with the player, we'll do it. Okay, then we'll give him back the player. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, Brian. Why wouldn't they accept it now? Oh, so confusing. They want... Okay, so instead of a six, we'll give a fifth. Guess. Not next year, though. Oh, my God. Okay, they want a f another fourth. I don't think we have another fourth other than next year. Finally, Jesus. After everything, we finally got a trade. That's what it took. We get Owen Tippett for one year, though. Yeah, he's on his last year for two million. Jesus, that was just agonizing. 
All right. So how many active players? Oh. Furlong's probably going to get sent down, I imagine. All right, there we go. At least we fit under the cap though. We'll play we'll play the Washington game and then we'll then we'll go to next episode and sim to to the end of the regular season. Jeez, that took a lot longer than what I thought it was going to. But at least you're getting a good glimpse at how frustrating trading can be. Usually off camera it ends up taking so long to do. Toronto ends up trading. That that probably got decided in like two seconds. So we'll take a look at where everyone's going to go. And they have Tippett. Yeah, Tippett on the third line. I do like that. See, I like this a lot more, actually. Petrangelo now on the thing. So it looks like... Looks like they're gonna have to rotate between um, Latang though. Six two. So McTavish scores. Gensel Crosby getting a, two goals, and then Carlson as well, which now puts them at puts them at um, six sixty six. So he's still around twenty something, which he could easily turn the season around and get it this season, but. Uh, the way that we ended is uh, Rantanen with 75 points, Boldy with 65, Gensel with 61, Newhook with 60. So all around a point per game for them. And then McTavish is also around that. Uh, Korczynski close. And then Crosby. Crosby's going to be improving as well. He has 17 goals now. So I do like to see that as well. Um, Tippett. Well, Tippett's not on our team, but he did play the one game. Um, so we'll have to see. Jury's still out on that. And we'll probably, probably play uh, Latang as much as we can, but the fact that he got moved down to his two star is kind of annoying because he's he is better than that. Even at 39, I feel as though he's better than that. So hopefully the game kind of fixes itself because I feel as though it needs to do that. Um, but we leave this with uh, us in first place in our division. Um, and then in the league, we are second again to uh, Edmonton Oilers with two extra games that we played so we could easily bump down to be below the Canucks which I imagine we will and um, yeah so we'll end up uh, doing the the end of the season and then we'll jump into the playoffs and hopefully we're still in first and hopefully Crosby can get uh, closer to breaking the franchise record uh, thank you everyone for watching and until next time